Hey there folks, Tim Slate here from the eLearning Designers Academy. In today's video, we're going to take a look at when it makes sense to use click to reveal interactions in your eLearning. So stay tuned. You know, if you spend any amount of time online, you're bound to run into somebody who will tell you that click to reveal interactions are a waste of time, that they offer no value to your e-learning and that you should never, ever, ever, ever use them. And well, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say click to reveal interaction, I define it in my book, the e-learning designer's handbook, which is available on Amazon, by the way, as any interaction where the learner clicks a button or takes an action to reveal additional content or resources, whether it be text, audio, video, or something else. Now, the reason some folks believe click to reveal interactions shouldn't be used is because I think, well, I think most people use them improperly. You see, when I was new to e-learning, I remember constantly being told that I needed to make my e-learning interactive in order to make it engaging. So that's exactly what I did. I created a bunch of click to reveal interactions that would simply reveal a bunch of content to my learner. And what's the problem with this? Well, while I do think there is a time and a place for click to reveal interactions, which I'll get to in a moment, the problem is when people use click to reveal interactions with the expectation that they'll drive performance. And that's just not the case. You see, the thing about click to reveal interactions is that the only knowledge or skill the learner needs to apply is the use of their mouse and nothing more. So the question is, when does it make sense to use click to reveal interactions? Well, I think there are some solid use cases that can help improve knowledge transfer, knowledge retention, and of course, the overall learning experience. So for example, if you have a bunch of content that needs to be presented in a series of sequential steps, like this customer journey example here, a click to reveal interaction can help to organize that content in a meaningful way. Here's another example where you might want to introduce the learner to a series of characters that you might use throughout your e-learning course. Using a click to reveal interaction can help to reduce the amount of on-screen text presented at one time. And another use case for click to reveal interactions is when you're using them in tandem with a decision-based interaction. So for example, here's a scenario-based interaction where the learner needs to select the correct customer greeting by dragging and dropping the correct option here. And as you can see, if the learner needs some assistance, they can click this button here to reveal some additional content that might help. So the problem isn't that click to reveal interactions don't offer any value to your e-learning courses. I think the examples I just showed demonstrate how they can be beneficial. The problem is when they're used with the expectation that they'll help drive performance. And well, that's just not going to happen. All right. So that's my take on when and how to use click to reveal interactions in your e-learning, which leads me to my question of the day. What other tips do you have for when and how to use click to reveal interactions in e-learning? Share your tips by commenting below. All right. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to learn more about growing your e-learning career and designing and developing interactive e-learning, check out the e-learning designers academy at elearningacademy.io. My name is Tim Slade. And until next time, I will see you around.